Hey guys, so this video is showing you how I take my makeup off. I think it's a good idea for you girls to show that because it is good to know how to take your makeup off. I've seen it requested on one of Juicy Star 7's videos and as far as I know she hasn't done it and as far as I know no other beauty guru has done it. They've shown you how to um, apply makeup but never to take it off. So, that's what this video is going to be. First, I take a headband, it's just a plain sort of headband. It's got the grips there, which is why I, why I use this one. Just to, I just take all the hair off my face. Oh god, it's not blended properly there. So I'm glad nobody could see that before. Next, I use some hand sanitizer. This is just one from the pound store. Just to clean my hands. You don't want to use dirty hands whilst washing your face because you'll just get dirt onto your face. Just spread the dirt around. Okay, so next I'm going to take a face like this. this is by Superdrug. It's Sherry, 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 I can't pronounce that. Ageless. For ages, like it's for older skin. But I just saw it and it's 69p, I think. And I was like, I'll just get that. But it is really good. It's really moisturising, I think. It says, specially formulated for mature skin. It says, in which with vitamin C and pro vitamin B5 to nourish tired skin, removes makeup and dermatology improve. It is made in the UK, so that's for the environment. So just take the face wipe and I wipe it all over my face, just removing all makeup. I go right into my hairline. I do tend to go right around my face, the outside first. I see how much it's taken off already. It's taken off quite a lot already, and I've only just started because it's this is really good. I mean, I have eczema on my forehead, and after I used this, the first time I used it, it um help soften my skin. It didn't react with my um eczema or anything. Ow. Sorry, I have a spot on my right there. It hurts. It's only just come up, so it's all fresh and stop. Just be careful to you and Oh, that looks so pale. Don't forget your nose. And then your eyebrows. Maybe I should just. There we go. Just clean it up. See how I'm missing my eyes? You can use this on your eyes, it does remove eye makeup, but I prefer to use my eye makeup remover, which I showed you in my last video. Just don't forget to do your neck. I, always, I don't really wash my neck with my face wash. I wash it in the shower though. I never not clean my neck. I always make sure I remove my makeup on my neck. Your jawline. Your cheek. Really good, it removes a lot of makeup. It means both sides. That's all my makeup removed. You can see the spot now. Okay, so next I get a cotton pad. No, it's just half. <laughs> I'm sorry, the thing comes off on this. It's probably come off right now. Yeah. I have had this for a while. <laughs> Sorry. I'll get it. I just have to hit the top just so it sticks into the thing. Nope, it's not working. There we go. Just 
get some of my eye makeup remover. Don't really need all that much. Much I've got. And what I tend to do is I get it all over the cotton pad by just doing this, folding it in half. And then folding it in half again. And unfolding it. And then just take it on my eye and just dab it. You don't want to drag because you might end up with wrinkles. Just do want to keep your eye dry. I also just do this because that's where I put my mascara on. I don't put it there, but here. So I just want to do this just to get rid of the mascara. And as you know, I'm wearing waterproof mascara, so it's going to be harder. So I'll only show one eye, because I only get 10 minutes. But yeah, basically this is what I do. Just to remove all my eye makeup. I tend to have to use both sides. And just pat it down. Like I said, don't drag your eyes. Your under eye skin is really delicate. You should never drag on your under eye skin. It does take a while, but you should be patient. Sometimes I'm not, and I end up dragging. Especially on my other eye, because I'll be all gentle with one eye. And then I will go into my other eye, I'll be like, oh, I just want to get this finished. But I try not to. Do your eyeliner. Do this. Really careful. Okay, so I've probably run out of time, but yeah, that's how I remove my makeup. I've still got to do the other eye and finish this one, but yeah, um, I hope this video helped you guys. You want to know how to remove makeup. Um, talk to you guys soon, love you guys. Bye. Yes, I swear it's a truth, and I owe you.